Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, we we played pretty well there that game, and you know, even though they got back into her, uh, we only missed the odd shot to, to let them sneak back in. So we we played well today, and yeah, I, I think we can keep her going. That's what you do for the rest of the afternoon. You go back, squeeze in a nap somewhere. Go yeah, go grab some lunch, and they'll have a little rest, and yeah, it'll be it'll come pretty quick. You expect yeah, to have a little bit more of the crowd here? Or <laughs> I don't know. You know. Uh, Probably more than today, you know, they're, they're the big uh, favorites out here, and, and we knew that coming in, and I thought we did a good job of taking the crowd out of it for the first, whatever that was, six ends, I mean, we, we won every end out there just about, so, so I think that helped, uh, but you know, it's tough to keep a team like that uh, down for, for ten ends, they're going to find a way to put some pressure on you, and, and they did, but fortunately we made the key shot. shots 
so I think we had a new setup on one end, and Carter made a nice peel and caught the one in the, in the rings and uh, forces the blanket in. So I think the first five ends, they really outgrilled us. The last five ends, we outgrilled them. We just ran out of time. Your shot in, uh, your first shot in nine, was the bait with us were on the corner row. Yeah, my, my gut was telling me to go around the corner to see if we can make it in a three. And, and uh, you know, I didn't feel real confident having to steal against Kevin the way he's played all, all year, really. And, uh, you know, if we could have snuck a three, then we're in good shape. And if we get two, we're in the same shape. And even if we uh, force the blank, then we'll, we'll fight it out for a deuce in, in ten. That was kind of my gut, but uh, got convinced out of it. And, and you know, the open side, so it's a good call. And you're going to see the fire deuce and, and uh, see if you can steal. But, you know, I felt we probably needed a little bit more than a deuce in the nine. It turns out. Um, everybody, the fans, uh, my teammates, my coach, um, you know, Mark, Mark and I were the only ones that were really leaning towards it. Um, and I, it, that wasn't, I was 100% convinced of the shot. It was, you know, probably 60-40. So, um, you know, we played it, played it probably smart and, and got our use and, uh, you know, forced them to draw the button. So uh, if he had asked us, would we do that after five ends? Uh, you know, it didn't look like we were going to do that, but uh, he made a good shot and uh, the ice was getting sloppy there in the middle, and, uh, I shouldn't say sloppy, that's not fair to the ice makers, but, uh, you know, the pebble was breaking down a little bit there, and, and uh, he made a good shot. How disappointing is this for Very disappointing. Um, you know, to be one game away from the 1-2 game and, and to lose a disappointing one on Thursday to Northern Ontario, and then to turn around and, and have another disappointing five ends, um, yeah, it's, it's tough, but... You know what? I, I guess uh, I'm young, <laughs> so we got uh, we got a few more years. Hopefully, if, uh, if we can uh, keep playing at this level and, and get another another shot. What do you expect to do with your team? The next year? I, I just lost. I, I really don't know what. Uh, uh, if you want to give me a couple hours to think about it, I might be able to answer. But you know, five minutes after losing, I don't know what I'm doing for the next four years. I mean, I'm probably going to get drunk tonight. <laughs> Probably gonna razz the guys pretty good, and they're gonna give it to me pretty good. And, and uh, you know, I would say probably in the next couple weeks that discussion will come up, but uh, it's far too early at this point. Which bar should we avoid? <laughs> Which bar should you avoid? I don't know. I might actually just go in my room and see if I can soak away my sorrels. Um, no, it's uh, but it's. Uh, I mean, you have every intention of uh, going through the I, I personally do. I, I I love the game too much to, to give it up and. And, um, you know, I don't want to play at a, at a, some of you guys probably can't print this, but a, a half-ass level. Of, you know, if I'm going to do it, I want to do it 100%. So if, uh, if all four of us are willing to do that and have the careers, the sponsorship, and, and the family support to do it, then we'll do it. A few days ago, you were sort of scratching your head to find out what was wrong, why yeah. you were inconsistent. Are you able to find any answers? No. <laughs> no, we, uh, this is a very inconsistent week, and, um, uh, you know, you, you got to be firing on all cylinders to win this event, and especially with with a team like Glenn playing the way they're playing, and uh, you know the way Kevin played against us there, the first five or six ends, they're going to be tough to beat if they can uh, duplicate that in the semi and, and, and the finals. So. The way you've been playing all week, does this make it easier to swallow this loss? Uh, I don't know. No, no not really. No, no. no. it's it's still frustrating not to play not to play your best, and uh -huh. and then to, to lose out at an earlier stage than you expect. Uh, you know, it's kind of a double, double whammy, I guess. So